Hi and welcome back to Bike Speeds. So this week we're talking about chain waxing. It's always a controversial subject, there's lovers and haters, and I'm hopefully going to talk you through the pros and cons of waxing your chain. So I'm going to leave this running in the background, I might pick up on a few bits along the way. First of all, just note how when we switch this on you see that black shadow in the, in the cleaner there. That's grease from the chain oozing out of it with the ultrasonic cleaner. So I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons. Chain waxing is a very good process, but you have to think differently with it, in my opinion. So the most, the biggest pro of waxing your chain, the best thing about it is that once done, your drivetrain stays very clean. You don't get grease and oil on thicken all your components you know yourself that you know your, your jockey wheels your cassette goes black when you're oiling your chain you don't get that with chain waxing the, the cassette will remain clean it might need to wash down from general dirt but you don't get that oily residue build up on your drivetrain which means it doesn't wear as quickly either so chain waxing will stay clean. You'll get way less wear on, you, on your group set. You'll be replacing your chains many, many times before you're replacing anything on your group set if you keep it maintained and do it before it's stretched out too far. It just, it's just too brilliant. You also get more wattage. That's down to the experts who always say that chain waxing gives you more watts. I personally have ridden wax chains for many years and for me, it makes no difference, but I'm just an absolute basic level i'm not not a, a racing god or anything like that maybe someone at the top of their game would say no 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 it's definitely worth the wattage but for you average everyday rider i don't think you'd notice the difference but boy your bike stays nice that's what i love about it my bike stayed clean that was good enough for me the cons of chain waxing uh it's high maintenance you have to bring your bike in and get it rewaxed every probably four or five weeks depending on your mileage but that maintenance or the high maintenance the time that it takes we've got an online booking system and you can go online you can book your priority slot you get an hour and a half slot for your chain waxing which means you're not going to be without your bike overnight you're not going to be without it for two or three days you book your priority slot you bring the bike in you get your chain waxing and away you go you can almost sit outside while it's being done we have an hour and a half slot that's for a re-wax that's where we take the chain off we clear off the old wax put on fresh wax put it back on the bike that's not the initial waxing. What you're seeing in the background of this video is the initial chain waxing, and it takes time. You know, everything's got to be cleaned up, re-lubricated, put back together before we put a fresh chain on. So the initial cost is a little bit higher, but your re-waxing is probably only the cost of maybe a Jella ride, which means if you're running a medium to high-end bike, it's not a lot in the grand scheme of the cost of bikes and running them and you know riding them. It's probably going to cost you a gel ride equivalent of so every four to five hundred miles you'll be getting your chain rewaxed and it will work out well. But the, the biggest negative for me, I mean the biggest positive is the way things stay clean. The biggest negative is, in my opinion, using it through the winter, it didn't really stay waterproof. It it's lubricated the chain perfectly, but you do get problem with the chain maybe rusting. So you'll need to be drying off your chain at the end of each ride or getting it rewaxed quite regularly. They can, if you if you leave a chain wet on the bike, it will stiffen and it will really need rewaxing at that point. So that's one of the little negatives. But you know, the, the cost is relative to, to what you're what you're achieving with your riding. It's pretty cheap really. It's pretty easy to get done. You just put your priority slot online with us and you get it redone. So if you're in our area, Suffolk in the UK, you know, you should be well sorted there. That's pretty much your chain wax and you can see here those bubbles in that wax, gone in the wax. Those bubbles are all the air and any water left over inside the rollers of the chain coming out and then that fills with wax and you've got a lovely wax chain then. So we just leave it to, to harden off and then we break down that wax and then you've got a lovely nice lubricated chain and a clean chain. I mean look how spotless that is. You know if that was oiled now you'd be getting that all over your hand but that's that is lubricated and it's it's clean we also just dust our chains and the cassette with molten speed powder molten speed wax they're the wax and powders that we use this just adds a little bit of wattage and a little nice finish to the chain and the cassette and it just adds to a nice change so thanks for all the comments we've been receiving 
in the last few weeks and months we've we always enjoy the comments so do interact with us because we do love reading them and we read them all and they're all very interesting we also have in the coming weeks an interesting video on SRAM ETAP which we're in the middle of filming at the moment and hopefully that will be out, out maybe next week but we are actually waiting for a part for that bike so it might be the week after but that will be soon don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll see more videos like this coming in the net in the future i hope you've enjoyed this one and it's cleared up any thoughts you have on chain waxing so thanks for watching